This is Rob Tabbot for Boxing Social in association with Betfred. Delighted to be joined by the still unbeaten light heavyweight contender Joshua Boazzi. Josh, first and foremost, congratulations. Rob, thank you, man. Um, good night's work. Um, intimate atmosphere. I think there's like 300 people, so um, it was good, man. Entertaining fight. Um, happy I got the win. Very, very happy I got the win. Good night's work, hard night's work, as everybody expected coming in. Bolotniks has done a really good job in the golden contract. Anything about him surprise you in there? No, I think the only surprise is that I haven't sparred him before. I haven't been in there with him before, so that was the surprise. But I went in there to do what I'm going to do, what I wanted to do. Um, but, yeah, asked me some questions, pushed me every round. So it was, it was, it was, um, it was hard night's work. <clears throat> How hard did he punch? Um... I got a bruise here and probably one somewhere else, but um, he had decent power. But um, once we're in there, we're in there. Of, uh, yeah, I'm not too sure how to answer that, but he, he's got decent power, yeah. yeah. Sorry to put you on the spot there, I do appreciate that. Um, yeah, you obviously you had him hurt in the sixth round, you had him down. Uh, I looked over, as I always do when somebody scores a knockdown, I looked over at the trainer, yeah. Virgil Hunter, who looked, said, calm down, Josh. Yeah, yeah. And then the rest of the round, you chased him around the ring unloading the bombs. Crazy, Rob, I should have listened. <laughs> but being that close to him, Rob, I said, nah, this guy's hurt. But I have to rate Belotniks because it's, I felt like the more I was hitting him, he was recovering better. So I was like, this is weird, like, why is that happening? Um, the seventh and eighth, I think he took them. Um, I had a point deducted. I started doing some quick maths. I said, cool, the, you had a point taken off. You probably lost two rounds. Where am I at with the scorecards? But um, the 11th came and what happened, happened. In all seriousness, like I just mentioned there, you know, sort of throwing a lot of punches in that sixth round. Is that just something else for you to learn from going forward? Another another box tick, so to speak? Um, yeah, a bit. I, I have to learn from that. You know, if you have someone hurt, still take your time and that. Um, which I usually do, but I was like, hmm, I didn't think this guy was going to go down, you know. It, again, it was a shot that it landed and boom, he just, he, before I looked, he was on the floor. A bit like the 11th as well, just landed the shot and he was on the floor. So um, I'm grateful, Rob, man. Yeah, it's not much to say about it. I'm grateful. I'm, I'm well, he's well. So that's the, that's the bonus side of it. That 11th round, talk me through that knockout. You've had some, some good shots in your career. I think that's right up there with one of the best. Um, I haven't seen the, the, the highlight yet, but um, my last one was quite good. Um, but this is against a very, very good opponent, so it'll be interesting to watch it when I get back. Last but not least, what next for Joshua Boazzi? A lot of people were billing this as your step up. You've come through that in flying colours. You've ticked some boxes. What next? Um, what next? Definitely some chill time, Rob. Um, I've done two camps back to back, so I have a few weeks off. Um, just recover, be around people that I need to be around, and then we'll go again. But we'll keep stepping up. We'll fight good opponents again, and um, yeah, I look forward to it, man. Sneak a little holiday? You're partial to a little holiday after your fight? I have to, Rob. I've done two <laughs> camps back to back. Eddie put me on a band, but after two camps back to back, at least I can get like a week or so off. You see what I'm saying? But um, no, I'm, I'm very grateful. Um, also, to take this opportunity to big up my team as well. Um, they've helped me massively get me into the shape that I needed to be in, um, into the right state of mind and to go out there to win. And most importantly, when I talk about the state of mind, I have to thank God, man, because as I said to you guys, I know what I depend on. So I'm very grateful that um, I was able to get into the right frame of mind and to go out there to perform. Classy as ever. Joshua Boatsy, always a pleasure. Thanks very much for speaking to Boxing Social. Congratulations on another great win. Catch up with you soon. I appreciate that, Rob. Thanks for staying. I appreciate it big time. Thank you, guys. <laughs>